It's not have to be at 3am. You made a promise. I will give you a chocolate if you do a backflip while casting a spell. Then you give the promised chocolate. By so, you made a good deed. You prove yourself to possess a virtue of honesty and responsibility. With great responsibility comes great power. And you saw that it was good. Oh, you were so wrong. You, you forgot about yourself. You should instead tell them, Ha! You gullible little psych. You think you can have a chocolate just because I promised you a chocolate? You were so wrong! You think if you buy yourself a chocolate, you will get a chocolate? You think if you behave, your parents will be proud of you? You think if you ask your parents to let you play in that super fun looking balloon castle, they will let you play in that super fun looking balloon castle? No, no, you will not play in that castle. We'd rather go home. Even though we are not particularly busy at home, at Sunday, we just doesn't want to see you being happy. Not even next week. And the next, and the next, years later as well, until you grow the f up and lose interest, only then they shamelessly ask you kindly, Wanna try that less fun and more expensive looking flying fox thing? Come on, come on seriously, let's go, I'll take the pictures, look at those kids, they look like having fun. No, no no, you should approach children and break their dreams up front, crush it like Candy Crush Saga, slap them, punch them in the face. Break their dreams and break their bones. If you meet a toddler on the street, charge towards them and give them a good slap. Children shouldn't live with hopes. Their eyes shouldn't be sparkling. They shouldn't feel anticipated and daydreaming. Don't get me wrong though. You fulfilling your promises to children is the worst backstabbing ever. Why so? Children are filled with happy anticipation. If a child walks up to you and telling you what they want to be in the future, they talk about it, they talk about what they want to have after it, story telling you about their hopes to live on the moon. So you baby them up, like the norm tells you to, and saying, Yes love, if you believe in yourself, then you can do anything, anything. Anything is possible if you think it's possible. The word impossible itself says, I'm possible, without considering if it is plausible. Hope. You give them hope, however false it is. They will be brimming with stars, intoxicated by their own opiums. They will live their life with great expectations, good expectations. Days of tomorrow is nice and bright and clean and soft like a marshmallow wrapped in satin. They will grow up, teenage years, doing dumb things and be happy about it, even though they are secretly worrying and stressed. Fear. You only live once, so you gotta take risks, horrible risks, and smash that mold off to your head for mild temporary amusement. Go fly away with this plane. Until they reach adulthood there and realize there is no pilot. And the plane wasn't heading to NASA all along, but to Brazil. They were in the sky, but now they are falling, not to the land. There are graces on the land. They fall to the deep ocean. I specifically said the deep ocean. The plane trapped them inside. They can't even escape to the surface ocean. The plane sinks fast with the young people inside it. Until they reach 2000 kilometers underwater, where there is not a single shard of light present. And water pressure will destroy the plane. They will die under pressure. They are under extremely high pressure. In their very last breath, they will talk, they are betrayed, their dreams will not come true. And there is no dreams, there are only sufferings. And pressure, there are a lot of pressure. Damn, the pressures are everywhere. The talks will pressure them. The traitor is not the plane, not the world or society, but you. You. You are the one send them flying. You are the one that didn't talk them that Brazil exists. You are the one giving them hope. Hope doesn't exist. There is only despair. This is not what I meant. I didn't mean to avoid being irresponsible and spoil children too much they grow to be a useless star. 
I simply want you to not let children be happy, even for a moment. Why are they being happy? I wasn't happy when I was their age. They shouldn't be as well. They should know my pain. Our pain. That's what we need. I will not be the one to break it. I will break promises instead. I hope you do the same. I will see you soon. Good night. Subscribe.